Hey guys, Dusty with Rocky Mountain Crane here. We're going to go over the functions of this remote and uh, teach you all the things that you can do with it. So on the right hand side here, we've got the key. So we're going to go ahead and fire that key up. It's going to tell us the band, the channel, the address right here on the, the front screen. Wire right here. Let's talk about these buttons. We've got the emergency stop, which we prefer that you don't use before you use the key. Just leave that up unless it really is an emergency. Right here we've got the slew speeds, one, two, and three. This only affects the slew speeds. So if you're making the same pick over and over and over, go ahead and crank it over if you're comfortable. If not, keep it in one or two. Um, three is pretty fast. So on this side we've got the play button. This honks the horn and connects the remote. Go ahead and do that. Okay, now that that's connected up, we've got our main screen here. And now we're connected. On this side of the remote, on the bottom here, this is the jog dial we call it, so this is how you jog through the screens. We'll show you that in a minute. And that's the escape button. Here we've got the slew brake. So this is not going to set the slew brake, it's only going to help you set the slew brake faster when it's safe enough for it to set. So if it's really windy and the crane's not stopping fast enough once it is slowed down enough, you can push that button, it'll help set the slew brake faster. Uh, this button here is a micro move, so on the hoist, if you're hoisting up or down, um, you can hold this button while you're hoisting and it'll make the hoist go even slower um, than you can normally. So let's look here at the screen. So right now we've got the screen at zero pounds. We're at 36 feet of 105 feet. So that's the first screen. If you turn the jog dial that we showed you earlier, you're going to get where your trolley's at, 36.4 feet. You're going to get your hook height from the jib, so you're 15 feet down from the jib. You're going to get that you have zero pounds on there. You're going to get 6% of your tipping force. So uh, if you had full load on here right now, this would read 100%. So this is percent of moment. So if you picked up 2,000 pounds close to the crane and continue to trolley out, this number would continue to go up until you hit the max um, 100%. This is your slewing angle. This would be if you were using top zone and were picking back in the same spot. Every time you would know where to go. And your wind speed up top of the crane. And now we're back to our main screen right here. So also what this little deal on the top here is going to do is once you pick something up, if you can only go, let's say 80 feet with the load, it's going to tell you that right down here it's going to say 80 feet. So if it knows that you have 4,000 pounds and that's you can pick that at 80 feet, it's only going to let you go to 80 feet. Uh, this little deal up here means that it is top side is on, um, and you have zoned out a power line or something else. The four part means it's in for permanent four, four part. You've got sending signal data back and forth, battery life, signal strength, and the time.